Afternoon all, I wanted to do a video covering the evolution really of portable music gear in my lifetime and I am born 1980 so I think that's Gen X so I'm in my 40s now and when I was young so in the decade of my childhood the 1980s these were how you played portable music now this isn't a Sony Walkman it's a modern variation of a Walkman non-Sony that you can digitize your analog cassettes to this is a cassette for those that don't know and it's got USB type C on it and uh, you can connect that to your computer use software and programs to record or put your cassettes onto your computer and then you can have digital copies of uh, your your analog cassettes so this isn't a Sony Walkman but Sony Walkmans looked similar so they were basically a bit bigger than the size of a cassette and the cassettes were generally different lengths you could get 60 minutes or you could get 90 this is a 90 minute cassette so it's got it on there and this is a TDK so you could get lots of different brands of cassette and different length cassettes and then you've got it's two-sided so you've got um, there's side A and side B so you play one side and then you can see the literal tape there and then the tape will increase and decrease on one side and then once it's done that you will turn it over and then obviously it's the opposite on the other side this might sound like some <laughs> uh, craziness to uh, people of a certain generation that never use a Walkman don't know what a Walkman is have never seen or been hands-on or used a cassette so yes yeah, quite incredible so when you uh, went out with your portable audio you were looking at something this size so kind of it fits in the palm it's 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 not that heavy really but it's relatively bulky it might just about fit in your trouser pocket and then in terms of your music that you could take out you could take out a 90 minute tape or you could take out a 60 minute tape or if you were so inclined you could take out a load of cassettes um 90 minutes or 60 minutes or whatever and then that would be your access portable access to your collection so yeah all of that just for a fraction of your music collection one tape in the player two three four and then that's i don't know not even not even 10 hours of music and you've got to take out physically quite a lot of stuff with you to access not even 10 hours of your music so if you jump to current day <laughs> all of these cassettes plus a lot more fit onto that which fits on your fingertip so it's quite incredible the technology in terms of uh, music storage and portable music so I've got 4,000 odd songs on my SD card and I don't even think it's half full. So my entire music collection is on this SD card. So yeah, it's, it's quite incredible how you can take everything you own in terms of your music collection literally on this player compared to back in the 80s. So if this was suggested or mentioned back in the 80s you'd think you know it was sorcery it was just something that was unfathomable really so yeah it's, <laughs> when you actually think about it it's it's amazing how far things have come and how things have changed so also the quality of these are is a lot better than your standard Walkman so even the best Sony Walkmans back in the day initially they were made only by Sony's Walkmans so it's Sony uh, 
technology, says Sony Patton, I think, the Walkman. So you could pay, initially when they first came out, they did cost quite a lot of money. So two, three, maybe 400 pounds. Uh, I think I remember seeing Walkmans for like 289 pounds or more. So you could pay one, two, three, maybe 400 pounds for a Walkman. And the quality of that Walkman, depending on your cassette, would be inferior to this. So most cassettes, at least most of the cassettes that I have, now you could record onto these yourself or you could purchase like an album from a record shop. Those of you don't know what record shop is, you could purchase an album or whatever on a cassette. And the quality varied in terms of these had a kind of level of hiss and a noise floor on them. So all cassettes to varying degrees have hiss on them. It's not like a silent or black background that you can get on digital files. Now, obviously the quality of the recording will impact to that as well. Some recordings are higher and lower quality than others. Some recordings are louder and quieter than others in terms of uh, uh, background noise or hiss or just general studio or recording equipment noise. There's always some level of noise, really. It's quite rare you get any recording that is completely silent. But yeah, on a cassette, it would be quite hissy. So you get the hiss from the cassette and you'd get the hiss from the recording, depending on the specific recording. So some recordings are very good with next to no hiss or noise level or noise floor and others are as i said louder in terms of the noise floor so yeah the, the volume um or the quality rather was wasn't necessarily great but it's kind of all relative so you only know what you know at that time so in the 80s in my household we had uh stereo systems with uh cassette on them cassette players on them so you'd have like a, an all-in-one system so it would have a section on it that had two cassettes where you could play cassettes on and you could record it might have on the top of the hi-fi um, a vinyl player and then later kind of into the late 80s 90s they started phasing out those types of players and they put CD players instead of vinyls on because they introduced the CD then so it would be cassettes vinyls and CDs and uh, my parents they have uh, well more my dad really he has a quite sizable vinyl collection um, at some point I might get my hands on it but that would involve a lot of moving records hundreds of hundreds of miles and then I'd have to get a a vinyl player a turntable so we'll see if i get into all of that it's probably worth a lot of money lots of original vinyls from the 70s maybe the 60s my dad's got in his collection 80s as well so um it would be worth quite a lot of money but yeah it's, it's quite incredible in terms of portable audio so this is the not a Walkman, but a Walkman. And this is the cassette. So those of you that don't know, this is how the layout of a Walkman would look. You've got your, your play, pause, and other controls on the top, typically. So on this, you've got stop, you've got fast forward, rewind. I think that's for the bass or mega bass. So there's a, a, a button to add and take away bass. And auto reverse, this only came on the fancy Walkmans. So cassettes are two sides, sides A or sides B. So you play the tape and then all that tape transfers to that one. And then that one's just at nothing. And then at that point, the tape or the side has finished. So you need to turn it over and then you play side B. So auto reverse is 
it lets you change sides without physically ejecting the tape. So the Walkmans without auto reverse, you'd need to open them up. You need to take the tape out and you'd need to physically flip the tape over and put the tape in and then press play. So we, you need to physically change side. Auto reverse got rid of that. So you just uh, have auto reverse engaged. And then once the tape had run out on one side, it would just kind of play in a reverse or backwards, but not technically backwards because it doesn't play the, the sound backwards, but yeah, he plays it backwards so you don't have to flip, <laughs> physically take out and change the uh, the cassette. So these took typically um, two or three uh, AA batteries, so two of those. I don't know what the battery life on them was, to be honest, I couldn't tell you. Maybe it was five hours, maybe it was 10 hours. I don't recall it being a, a massively long amount of time in terms of the uh, how long a battery would last. And then I started using 90s, late 90s, 2000s, Sony mini disc. And this is a portable mini disc. It's called a mini disc Walkman actually. So Sony's basically changed their Walkmans from cassettes to mini discs. Now I'm kind of skipping out Discmans here. Discmans just played CDs. They were portable CD players, but I don't have any of them. And I didn't really use them at the time either. I thought they were a bit big and bulky and just not worth it. But when mini disc came out, that was more acceptable to me. So it's kind of like the same thing as a Walkman, cassette Walkman. So you've got your physical device. Again, battery powered. This one takes a single AA battery. Some of these Sony Discmans or Walkmans, mini disc Walkmans, some of them came with a rechargeable battery. Um, I got through two or three of them. I did drop some of them and damage them. So I've actually got another one uh, in a box somewhere, but it's not working because uh, it's damaged. So I got this one secondhand off eBay, but this one works okay. So uh, it's very similar in that it's a physical device and then you open it up and then you pop your disc inside, basically like a cassette. And then you, uh, your disc loads up and then you have your little display there. And a disc, the duration was generally 80 minutes. It could vary a bit. And then I think later on towards the end of the shelf life of mini discs, they developed one terabyte mini discs. So <laughs> yeah, just to compare, that is 512 um gigabyte SD card and the cutting edge largest mini disc towards the end of the shelf life of uh, mini discs was a uh, one I said terabyte earlier it was gigabyte one gigabyte uh, disc so <laughs> yeah it's quite incredible so if you wanted to take out your collection or a fraction of your collection. Again, it's a physical device and a load of discs with you that you'd need to take. In terms of sound quality, uh, these, or mini discs in general, if you were shot buying an album, it would be, it would be really good quality actually. A, a properly recorded mini disc still sounds really good. Um, other than that, you could record onto them yourself. So this is actually a recording of my band's rehearsals at the time. So this is like 20 odd years old, 20 plus years old. Um, so something like that, depending on what you were recording with the, equi uh, the equipment, it could sound, there could be like a ground f uh, floor hiss, noise floor hiss. And this did have the ability to record. Some of them had a line out and you can see the red 
output there is a mic one. If I can get it to focus, it won't focus. But it says mic plug-in power. So at a point at rehearsals, I took my mini display. I bought a little Sony recording mic and I plugged the mic into that. And then I'd record some of our musical rehearsals directly on mini disc. And back in the day, I did record some of our music on tapes. So that is why I've got this really. I want to digitize some of my band's old, old recordings that are on cassette. Uh, the quality won't be great because it was recorded on a little portable uh, cassette player with uh, radio. Uh, we, we call them boom boxes at the time. And um, they had a mic on, uh, typical boom box, and you could just put a tape in, put it in a room, put it somewhere in the room and just press record and it would record the audio, albeit not great quality, but it was just to give you a, a, a picture, a snapshot a sound recording so you can listen back to stuff and get an idea of how it sounds. So yeah, the, the digital audio players don't offer that functionality in terms of being able to record audio. So the Walkmans did and the mini discs did. But yeah, it's it's just quite incredible when you actually think about it. If you're someone of my age or maybe a little bit younger, similar generation or older generation, it is quite incredible now, just the difference in terms of audio setup and the digitization of audio and the ability to store huge amounts of audio on physically tiny spaces, such as this SD card, which, yeah, I've not even got half full and let's say 5,000 songs on there. I don't even know how many hours that is. But compare that to a single, this cassette specifically, that's a 90 minute cassette. This one here, it's a 90 minute cassette TDK. And this one here is a Sony cassette, 90 minutes. So yeah, it's, it's quite incredible really. And um, it's just nice to think and appreciate how good we have things now in terms of the technology. And it being uh, very, don't know if convenience a word, but don't know, you're kind of spoiled in a way when you compare how things used to be. I mean, at one point in time, there was no portable audio at all. The only way you could listen to music is at home, uh, plugged in to your stereo system. And then if you go, uh, further back still there was no <laughs> recorded music at all so yeah it's it's all fascinating what changes happen in your lifetime so yeah very interesting so yeah <laughs> those of you of a certain age this is a mini disc this is a cassette and back in the 80s cassettes were all the rage courtesy of the sony walkman for portable audio and in the late 90s, 2000s, early 2000s anyway, I think mini discs probably took over as the single most popular form of uh, audio, portable audio, physical portable audio in terms of having a cassette or a disc. And then of course, not long after MP3 players started to come in and they had everything self-contained in the device, courtesy of internal storage. So yeah, uh, the pre-digital era really documented and yeah, very, very interesting to me. <laughs>